Hi, I'm Rich. Build an electric bike, par four, the saddle. Found an old shelf unit which I'm going to recycle for the plywood. It's about 10 mil thick. I'm going to use this for the base of the seat. I've then got some scrim, which is foam backing, some leather, some foam, some piping, leather needles, leather thread, and a staple gun. And of course, a sewing machine. First thing I'm going to do is get all the dimensions measured up from the bike frame, map it out onto the plywood, cut that out with the jigsaw, then we can go from there. Let's do it. Now to cut the leather and the scrim out. Here I'm setting up this measuring device so I'll be able to keep an equal distance between the lines of stitches. I'm just running lines of stitches across the leather. This feature is purely decorative and for this I'm using fabric backed foam which is called scrim. And the reason it has that fabric on the back is so the thread has something to catch onto. As if it was just foam, it would just tear through and you wouldn't be able to stitch along it. Now I'm going to use the plywood base as a template, cut around it, leaving 10mm addition around the side for a seam and this will be the top of the seat. Here I'm marking out the rest of the seat, which is the sides and the front. It's going to be one continuous piece and the back will be separate. I'm leaving lots of room at the base so I can wrap it around underneath the plywood to staple it. And again I'm leaving a seam along the top. And then what I'm going to do is cut out the rectangle for the back panel and then start measuring and cutting out the piping to then be stitched along the edges. Here I'm sewing on the piping with a long straight stitch. This will keep it nice and neat and keep the seam in tight with the piping. I'm cutting these slits just above the front panel so I'll be able to curve it around to give the front of the seat a nicer shape. I'm doing this by stitching the two little tabs together on the inside, which you can see here, and that just gives the front of the seat a little bit of a slant. I'm now sewing down the back panel seams with it inside out to complete the front sides and back of the bike seat. I'm making sure to keep as tight into the piping as possible to give it a better look and finish. With the panels inside out still, I'm now going to start sewing on the top section, starting with the front and I'm going to allow for a 10mm gap around the edges which will be the seam which I've already accounted for when cutting out the top section.
Right, now I've finished sewing on the top section, I'm now cutting off the excess seams, so when I turn it the correct way around, it won't be bulging around the edges and be visible through the material. Right, now it's ready to be filled with foam. So I've just tried out the seat with this foam, and it seems like I don't have enough, and I don't have any more of this, but what I've found, an old pillow, which is full of memory foam. So I've cut the outer shell off, and exposed all of the stuffing that makes up the memory foam and use that as the cushioning. Now I'm just stapling down the edges to the base plywood and I'm trying to get the material as tight as possible to make the seat nice and firm. And once I've got all the edges stapled down, I'm now just going to take some of the staples out that were temporary, remove some wrinkles and put in some fresh staples to finish off the base of the seat. So to mount the seat, I'm just going to take this flat bar, cut four sections off it, weld each section onto the frame, here, here, here and here, drill a hole in that, screw up through the hole into the base of the seat and that will hold it on nice and firmly. Let's do it. Now I'm just going to countersink these holes so the screw heads fit up nice and snug and don't stick out the bottom. For that I'm just using a bigger drill. Now the saddle's finished and mounted, it's the end of building a bike part 4 the saddle. Check out my next video of how I mount the brakes, but for now, thanks for watching.